He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Boy, well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Anniversary Edition DLC. And we're playing on Legendary Difficulty. Let me just uh, show everybody for the Doubting Thomases here. There's always one in the bunch. There you go, Legendary Difficulty. And uh, playing with special rules of engagement, we're only allowed to equip weapons and armor that are newly introduced by the Anniversary Edition DLC. So all brand new content. And we are here in Solitude and... Did we buy some bolts? No, we did not. That's next on the list. We got to buy some ammunition for our newly acquired, <laughs> quote, end quote, acquired crossbows. Our danger crossbow. The Fletcher always has bolts for sale. The Drunken Huntsman may or may not have bolts for sale. That's a crapshoot. This one always has bolts for sale. Hello and We're going to buy all his dwarven bolts and all his steel bolts. This is typical. He has 30. You may get lucky and he has 60. And he has typically 50. You may get lucky and may have 100 and, 100 and change. But uh, this time he's got the usual amount. All right. Ta -ta. Nice doing business more. with you. Very good. Next on the list, before we, before the video is out, we are going to acquire the fantastic Imperial Dragon Armor. But for this, we're going to need to get speech up to 30. Currently, speech is at 24. We have a 10... A 10 point bonus from the gift of charity I believe so it's currently at 24 we need to get it up to 30 and we can do this by continuing to sell and we got more stuff to sell we got some precious gems and whatnot let's make our way over to Windhelm where there are a lot of general merchants Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Windhelm, my good man. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Take a look both sides for hired thugs. No hired thugs in sight. Very good. Never been to Windhelm? Oldest city in Skyrim by some account. I don't say. They say the big old palace there was built by Yeez. All right. Remind me to buy some leather. Or even better. There's a couple of wolves down this way. Okay, this is not part of the plan. Every time I change plans on the fly, it goes sideways. But all we need is one leather. Why pay for it? Well, you know, I mean. Money's no object. When you see how much money we'll be making later on. But this is right here. This seems like such a waste. Take a look. For hired thugs. No hired thugs. There's always a couple of wolves right here. Do a quick stage in case this goes horribly wrong. There it is right there. Let's see if I can nail him. Got him. <laughs> what a shot, eh? <laughs> Come here, doggy. Uh oh, watch it now. Oh, oh my gosh. Which one is my. Yeah, yeah, calm down, calm down, calm down, doggy. Calm down. Uh oh, I don't have my. It's going horribly wrong. You can survive. Yep, back it. Bad doggy. Huh. <sighs> okay. Okay, hotkey that dude, come on, Slack. Rookie mistake. Okay, here we go. And after bragging about that great shot. Where are you going? What? Watch it now. There we go. Okay, so 
Got ourselves some leather. Very good. I didn't die. <laughs> and I changed plans. Alright, we got our first crossbow kill. And we leveled up. We should level up. I don't have any skill training uh, planned, so it's okay. It's safe to level up. Let's get into town. I've been looking for you. What? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. You couriers. Only. Let a note from someone named Calcelmo. Calcelmo. Okay. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Was this because didn't you already deliver this one? Isn't this the one about because we acquired a dwarven bolt, or is this about the mud crab? No, we already read that one. Skyrim, come on, get on the right one. Down here, Kalstaz, there we go. And... Oh yeah, by the way, I changed my name to... <clears throat> pardon me, I changed the name of my Dragonborn to CC Rider. Previously it was Great Quarter. Okay, so you can pause the video and read this up if you so desire. Are you done? Okay, let's go. First thing on the agenda here in Windhelm is pollute our city with your stink. To get the well rest bonus. What time is it? Help the storm pokes. Perfect time. While we're here, um, you should go upstairs in the Candle Hearth Hall. And this is Adonato Leotelli's table. You should read his journal. This will kick off another quest. Caught in a web. place in Crown Banker Cave, which is rife with spiders. We're going to do that. We can pause on each page and partake in a little reading material. All right, let's go down right to bed. I walk around a gray quarter and let them grace. Another duck. Sure thing. It's your. I still can't believe is it about Wait, these uh, wind helmets are pretty racist against the dark elves, eh? Let me know if there's anything else you need. All right, what what happened? And let's find the beggar. The murder probably hasn't happened yet, so she'll probably be up here warming her hands by the fire near the palace of the kings. No, she's not. Okay, well let's just go here and it was to, to discover it. There we go. Is she down here by... Oh, the murder scene has happened. And there she is. Spare a coin for a poor old... Sure, here you Another go. One. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind. Okay, so we're getting better prices, and it looks like I've got a couple of quests hooked up. Very, very good. Next. Did you use... We have a whole bunch of precious gems. Two things you could do. You could save them for smithing and get extra XP. That's assuming that you're going to collect a lot of gold and silver, which is not something I typically count on doing, which is why I always just sell them. Because you don't actually get any more money by, by turning them into jewelry. All it does is just simply add the value of the base value of the gem to whatever you're making into it, a ring or a necklace, and it combines it and that's it. You don't make any more money. All you the benefit is the ex, extra XP, the extra smithing XP, which is why I always just end up selling them. No. Some people have been asking me that. So there we go, Aval and Nurnye. I have a lot of respect. Take a look. I didn't touch it. Let's sell him the gems. Starting off with these two flawless emeralds. There we go, leveling up speech, perfect. You got one of these six left and. The sapphire would be perfect. Let's say 
Maybe you have a lockpick for sale. Perfect. And sell them that sapphire. Give him one dollar tip. And that's it. Be sure to stop by Sadri's used. Next. Your name. I travel more, but who wants to deal with all the soldiers? The Take a look. Sorted fruits and vegetables. Yes. All delicious and affordable. Mention this to AC. Sorry about that. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, sell apparel to Nirinye. Those? All that. Can't have that. And these. She's still got 405 left. And uh, potions. Two poisons of slow. Not the good ones. She's got 53 bucks left. And some junk potions. Like that. That. 13 bucks left. How about a couple of stamina potions? And that's who she's out of money. Very good. Thank you for your custom. We can sell some more potions to. What did I say? Potions? I'll be fine. Attaboy, Mr. Mumbuck. You there. So, you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Not particularly. Are you interested in my potions and ingredients? For example, yoink, yoink. And there we go. Speech up to 26. My notes say, keep the fear, frenzy, resist fire, and resist shock. That makes sense. Potent stamina. No, nah, I don't want that. And uh, probably the invisibility. Those are going to come in handy later on, too. Of course, keep the extreme magic. This is going to be very useful. Um, keep at least one minor healing potion. Sell all those. And he's down to his last buck. Very good. Hope to see you again soon. There's also Wolentria's Soul Gem. Let's grab that while we're here. We're good. Um, we got lots of money. Let's take another crack at the Drunken Huntsman in Whiterun. See if he has some bolts this time for sale. And my notes say that speech should be up to 26. Perfect. And the Drunken Huntsman is always open. Although I would... wouldn't mind... a little discount. Let's see if you can find the beggar. I don't know where he hangs out at night. There he is. Great. You. I ain't done nothing. Okay, don't worry. Okay, calm down. Have a gold piece. Go have a Budweiser on me. Alright. Sure. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Okay, we Hello, came all the way here for some bolts. You better have some. I've got Come on. Add a boy. Who's a good Elrin deer? And let's take all his dwarven bolts once again. And all his steel bolts. Very good. And I don't believe there's anything we can sell him. Oh, the glass dagger, of course. Thank you very much for your business. Excellent. Now, let's take speech the rest of the way to level 30 by going to Riften, our favorite speech leveling location. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Riften could... Climb and back and we'll be off. <laughs> Riftin' my good man. Riftin, my good man. Visit the Black Briar Meadery. A few mugs of that, and you'll forget all. Let's 
still no iron ducts. That's great. Okay, let's just quickly grab this salt pile out of here. Oh, we got some tomatoes. And we'll get a speech check with the guard. Does it help level up speech? Okay. You there. Before I let you into Riften, you need to pay the visitor's tax. What's the tax for? Picking your nose? For the privilege of entering the city. Picking your nose. What does it matter? How would I pay for picking your nose? Okay, sorry. Um, this is obviously bullshit. It's just a shakedown. Let me in. Or I'll huff and I'll, puff and I'll blow your you? Riften door in. Okay, so speech up to 27. Do I hear 28? Um, we'll get a little extra XP from them all if we Be careful, you know. get the well rested bonus. When you so let's go into the bean barb. People of Riften, heed my words. The return of the dragons is not got... mere coincidence. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. This is one of Come the back signs. and see us again. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your I don't have any business with you, so get out of my Put down your flagons, Phil. All right, Sapphire, calm down. Let's just sleep an hour. Brace the teachings okay, so we got the well-versed bonus. Time. No, no, Mara. <laughs> I'm surprised we that, uh... Talon? Kirava, certainly Kirava didn't come, come up. Sort of She's busy. Okay. All right, Maul. What say you? I don't know you. You and Riften looking for trouble? Of course. I mean, uh, no, I'm just passing through. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see. Last thing the Black Briars need is some stranger sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Who are the Black Briars? Black Briars I don't really care. Just give I'm me my Maul. speech level up. I watch the Persuade for dirt, huh? I'm not exactly clean myself. Them, we're speaking the same there language. we go. Excellent. Good. So what do you want to know? Oh, not really much. Really, we don't care. We just want to level up speech. Next! Let's help out... Shatter. Huh? What do you want? What kind of trouble are you in? I owe a great deal of money to someone and I think they cheated me. Okay. I don't Tell me the details. Able to work out don't bother. Just get to the point. Now Sapphire wants her money back, and if I don't pay her, I think she's going to kill me. Okay, that's the point. Definitely. Okay, we'll help you with that. You will. Yep. Oh, don't thank worry. you. Sit tight. Sit tight. Well, okay. Go to the stables. I'll meet you there. Be careful, <laughs> Did I drag him in? Good. Okay, Looking Sapphire. Listen up. Yeah. I want to What's talk about Shatter's debt. I knew that stupid kid would try and find a way to weasel out of his debt. Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold, he promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. Yeah, okay, you and I both know this is a setup. Come on. All right, all right. I guess I made enough from his shipment. No need to waste any more time threatening a stable hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell Shadra he doesn't owe me anything. We want to bigger and better things. All right, so one more. We can go talk to... Ungrian at the Blackberry Mead. Hurry. <laughs> and ask him I'm the Welcome. Master Allow me to about Maven the Black Blackberry. Mead. Even though she's standing she right behind you, Skyrim. tell us the whole story about Maven Blackberry. She's an absolute pleasure to work for. In fact, I almost feel guilty accepting pay from her. Okay, well, let's, let's week, pretend like she's not standing right behind you. Just how lucky we are to be working What for would you say then? If I'm caught saying anything bad about the meadery or the family, I'm a dead man. I'm the fourth person to work the tasting counter in the last year. The last three are at the bottom of Lake Honrick. Just take my advice and just get out of Riften as soon as you can. Okay. So, I hope you can swim. <laughs> because like Come I said, David Blackbear is right there. <laughs> He's probably heard every, every word you said. And that's it. Mission accomplished. We have speech. At level 30. Alright, and I have a spare perk point. What am I supposed to spend this on? It's going to take me a while to look through my notes here. My notes are kind of jumbled. Uh, it's probably archery. But just in case it's not, I'm going to save that for now. It's not critical anyways. We have alchemy at level 2. Oh, right. We're saving it for illusion. Right, okay. Yeah, that's great. Okay, so that's it. Next. Um Battle of the Champions. In case you did not 
you know, like, let's say things screwed up for you and you didn't actually get speech to 30, you can actually go to the Rift and Jailer and pass another speech check. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official as long as your speech is over 25, this is easy. Just do this oh, persuade option. My mistake. And there we go. Sorry. Up to 31. Go okay, so just in case things screwed up for you, there's an extra one for you. So everybody's got at least 30. Let us go to solitude. Actually, let's save some time and just go to the front door of Riften to start off with. Into Helga's bunkhouse. Can I help? You? No, we're just here for the shrine. Go behind the counter. If you're looking for a hit up the shrine of Debella. Okay, and this will bump up speech to over 50. But when we get to, by the time we get to uh, solitude, it's going to be back down to 41. But we can get the beggar root coin to bump it up back to 51, and then we can go get the imperial dragon armor. And there is some dragon stun. All right, let's go do this. Don't need that. Solitude. And let's go get that. <clears throat> so give the I'm beggar a coin. I'm grateful we're friends. I'd like you to have this. Oh, it's not okay. Much, but I hope it's something you like. He gave me some Nord meat and I can't give him a coin. That must mean that the gift of charity is still in effect. As in Victoria. No, it's not. Michi is getting married. What's going on? Here we go. Anyone in solitude? Oh, thank you. Here we go. Okay, so now, speech act back up to fifty-one. Let's go talk. To the head honcho of the Imperial military here at Castle Dower. And this is related to the Battle of the Champions quest. The next objective which of which well we have several options. Persuade the Legate. Is that Legate? Legati? Legate. Legate. <laughs> I've never actually bothered to look that up. I'm going to look it up right after I finish recording this video so you don't have to tell me. I'm going to know before you know. Or before you try to tell me. Okay, persuade the legate to make you his champion. That's what we're going for. Just... If it's arms or armor you need, see Baron in Castle Dower. Not a good plan. He's right here. You, Can't wait Dude. to kill another of Ulfric's boys. He'd be insane to try. I hear you're looking for a champion. I'm <laughs> loyal to the Empire. Well, soldier, are you up to the task? I can handle it. And then some. I knew I could count on you, soldier. Here, this is for you. And he gives you the Imperial Armory Key. <laughs> There's just some kick-ass stuff in the Imperial Armory. The These hand, Imperials, they really know how to party. So the armory is down, <laughs> down here. If he wants to stand outside Open the, the door, we got the key, and go to this chest here, which requires the key that he just gave you. And you get all this stuff here. Check this out. Even if you didn't want to use it, it's like it sells for like a bazillion dollars. But we're definitely keeping it. General, this is some insane you... gear. Insane. Check this out. Increases fire resistance, shock resistance, and frost resistance 30%. Another 20% fire resistance. Health regenerates 10% faster. Melee damage up by 10%. When low on health, has a chance to give the wearer ebony flesh increasing defense. Doubles damage from bash. Increased fire resistance by another 10%. That's like, even if we weren't a dark elf, we'd have 80 fire resistance just on this gear alone. And then there's this. Akatosh's Talon burns the target for a whopping 50 points plus 32 damage. And this here too. So, yeah. 
Stick with the slack and you will not lack. You can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Alfrex me, disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Dude, we are an Imperial Dragon. Isn't that the most badass armor? That's a, I just love this armor. That is totally badass. What you do here today may well save your lives. Okay. Yeah, I just gotta wipe the drool off my keyboard here. And, uh... With this, let's go back home and plant our garden, finally, because we have, um... Yeah, we have the ingredients, and the most important ones were imp-still. We now have three imp-still, that's perfect. Okay, so, let's get, uh, calm ready to go. And what is up and running? Hopefully the thief stone. Yep, that is correct. Very good. Home, James. Oh, uh. bugger! Freaking hate that cockroach! You hit me again. At least you're helping me level up restoration. Like, don't say I never did nothing for you. Hey, right, let's have the get the well rested bonus. Homework. All right. Seems like everybody liked the previous homework assignment so much. I'm giving you more homework. Uh, first of all, stash all your food wherever you stash your food. Here we go, all food that can be cooked or baked into something, I'm stashing there and I'm going to stash my booze here. There you go, this is so that you won't um, run into any conflicts with the garden, which is your homework. Alright, so first of all, all the ingredients that you collected, put them in your ingredients container. All the ingredients in the ingredients container. Then take out three canis root, three imp stool, which everybody should have. Everyone should have collected one imp stool from Arcadia and two imp stool from Angeline. Okay, so everybody's got this. Three imp stool. And finally, five more tapanella. Everyone's got tons of more tapanella. Okay, so take out five. Done and done. Now, your homework assignment is to plant the garden and familiarize yourself with how the garden works, okay? You've got 11 plots here. Three on that side, five in the middle, and three on this side. And these are the ingredients we took out. So, it's obvious what you should do, right? You're going to plant the five more tapanella in the center. You're going to plant canis root on the left side and plant the imp stool on the right side or vice versa. All right, so we're going to plant the garden. All you have to do is, is interact. Done. And so on and so forth. Three canis root on this side. And three imp stool on this side. But slack, that doesn't make the most valuable potion. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Stick with the slack and you will not lack. I like that. I forget who came up with that, but I like that. Okay, so there you go. Your garden is planted. Typically, it takes three days. Strike that. Three days for your garden to grow. But... 
the first time you plant the garden, it only takes one day. All right, so all you have to do is go to the next room and sleep 24 hours. Done and done. Back here and voila, the garden is grown, no? So time to harvest. You get three canis root, check that, four, four canis root per plant. There you go, four canis root, eight, 12, and you get three more tapanella per plant. So harvest them all. And the imps tool is the same, you get four per plant. So everybody should have 12 canis root, 12 imps tool, and 15 more tapanella. Stash those in the barrel, wherever you're keeping your ingredients. Now you're going to familiarize yourself with replacing ingredients in the garden. You're going to take out three creep cluster. Everyone should have this. Everyone should have tons of creep cluster. And three scaly foliota way down at the bottom here. Three scaly foliota. All right. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to replace the canis root with creep plaster and you're going to replace the imp stool with scaly foliota. How do we do that, Slack? What you do is go up to the plant, the plot rather, and hit activate fertile soil and clear planter. All right, so you're going to clear all these planters here on this side. All the canis root planters you're going to clear and all the imp stool planters you're going to clear and you're going to replant three creep cluster here and you're going to replant three scaly foliota here and the more tapanella you're going to leave exactly as is all right and that is your homework assignment all right that's it thanks a lot for watching and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining and or informative you know what to do give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hey post a comment because i love to hear from my target audience all right see you next time Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.